Good morning, everyone. Just few years ago, a few days ago, um, there was jubilation in the southeast that the Court of Appeal in Abuja granted the release of uh, Nnamdi Khan. Everybody was happy. There was jubilation. But yesterday, we heard again that the federal government coerced the justices of the Supreme Court to resign their decision and they grant a stay of execution on their own verdict. You begin to ask, what does the government want? The government should want what makes their people happy. They should want the happiness of the people. That window of, of opportunity to make peace in the Southeast. So many people today are kidnapping people in the Southeast on grounds of the fact that uh, Nande Khan was detained or is detained. Killing people, saying that they are doing it for the release of Nnamdi Kano. And the Court of Appeal kept that window of peace. And the federal government is junketing from the Court of Appeal to the Supreme Court. To do what? To show power and authority. By going to Kenya, to bring somebody to Nigeria is enough. It's enough authority. It's enough power. We see, you no, know, it's enough to do power for people to believe that you have the capacity. By keeping him for more than one year, it's enough to show power. What is you want? This amounts to killing the ant with a sledgehammer. Look at the alert in uh, Abuja today. Security alert. Is it caused by Nandekan? But you know the people. And these people you know are the people you are placating. You are releasing in their hundreds. Enlisting in the army, police, and other security agencies. Then this individual from the southeast, we want to annihilate him. And this tends to justify our clamor for Biafra. Otherwise, why should we be releasing Boko Haram members and detaining? An individual, a superior court, like a court of appeal, released. What justification? Because he's an evil man. Is it not true? Is there any other thing? Each day, I feel so happy that I started this in 1999 to educate our people that we are not safe in Nigeria. And you try to justify it. What has Nandi Kano done that Boko Haram people have not done? We are not interested in your kangaroo court of appeal and the Supreme Court uh, judgments. You are going to the Supreme Court. Obviously, we know what you will get because you have already started coercing the justices by redeploying them, posting them to other stations, insulting them. This conduct of the federal government is very undignified. Very undignified. It tries to increase the insecurity in the Southeast. Every Monday now, people stay at home. Even when you ask them to go 
to their normal businesses. They stay at home for fear. How are you helping matters as a government? He said, Nam, they can't do this, do that, do that. Did. Granted, but not conceding. What about members of the Boko Haram you are releasing? Are they innocent? Why are you releasing them if you cannot release this one? I'm tired of all this nonsense uh, uh, because, uh, you see, when the government is safe, it's the cause of insecurity. What else do you get? What do you think? Please, all we want in the Southeast is the release of Nandikan for now, for peace to reign. Ohaneze officials have gone to Abuja to beg. No answer from uh, federal government. No positive answer. Mbazlika Amaichi, an elder statesman, 90 something years, begged. No, no positive answer. Many people, many prominent Igbo leaders, you say you want legal solution, no political solution. Then the legal solution came. You don't want to obey it, you don't want to do it. You want to undermine the Igbo man and the Igbo tribe. It will fetch you not, nothing. It will not frighten anybody. Rather, it is justifying our position that we want to stay on our own because we are not allowed to stay in Nigeria with others. That's how it is. And if you think that your actions can intimidate anybody, nonsense. It cannot. Get two, two, two million judgments from the Supreme Court. You are only making a caricature of yourself as a government. Nothing better. We are not afraid. Just release Namdikan. That's the much I know. And that's what we want in the Southeast. We know what you are doing. The games you are playing. We pretend as if we don't know. We know. But we are watching. Thank you. All right, great people. All right, great one. And this one, believe you me, Ralph was Wiki shocked me. Ralph was Wiki for this particular one, he get it. You know, I always tell my people, whenever you say something that makes sense to me, and I reason about it, and I see that this is the real and reality, that is something that I always talk about. I am bringing you all today to Rafu Waswike, what he said about the leader of indigenous people of Biafra Mazen Nam Dioku Kano, who is still today in DSS dungeon. And the, the court of appeal have discharged Mazen Nam de Kano. You see this one? This is not the first time that Rafu Waswike have been saying something like this, even though when these infiltrators they want to take over Mazen Namdekano. Rafu Wazrike also came out by then and tell them to go and create your, their own. They should allow Mazen Namdekano to be. Rafu Wazrike nailed it and he said all my mind. I keep on telling you people, you see all this criminality in Biafra land. These people, they are intentionally doing what they are doing to hold our leader there. And my question now is this. Uh, let me introduce myself before I move forward because I don't want to waste my time because Ralph was wicked, have nailed it. But I some people that I want to call their name to ask them why are they still waiting not to talk about Mazen Nam the Okukan? Great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Nam the Okukano where we always set the record straight. My name's O, Mazo Okino Kichuku, known as the Biafran Chai, the Wanshineke, the general. Now, was Rike Nilit. He said it the way it is. But there's one particular question that I want to ask now. What about the politicians of the Igbo people? Where is the Igbo elite? Why are they mute? 
if not they are the people that are holding Mazen Namde Kano there because of their stupid political ambition, why are they mute? That is my question to them. Why are they mute? Why they don't want to talk about Mazen Namde Kano? The Court of Appeal have discharged this man. And why the representatives of Biafran people, the Igbo speaking Biafra in particular, why are they mute? That is the reason why I'm telling you people. You people are saying that uh, the Antony General of Federation, which is Malami, is the one holding our leader. You don't even know that those are behind this Malami are the Igbo politicians. They are the uh, elites of the elites of the Igbo people, the representative of the Igbo speaking Biafra. They are those that are holding the mass in Namdekano because they think that mass in Namdekano is their problem. They just want to kill a man that God sent to us to come and rebrate us, to come and you know take us away from this slavery that we are into into jihadism he's come to take us away from from this jihadism of fulanis why some of his brother are there they don't want to let him go you see what i'm saying now but this one that rafu was said i am telling you rafu was for this one for this particular one i give you the credit this is 101 percent you said the truth and Rafa was Rike. We have seen it, but I don't know the reason why. Last time, um, what is his name? The governor of Anambra State, which is Soludo, he went to DSS Don John to meet, to meet our leader. He went there, he spoke with him, he, he put it in public domain. We see the pictures. But today, the man, the court of appeal have discharged Mazen Namdekano. Even though I don't know the reason why, still today, the Anambra governor, which is Soludo, never want to talk about our leader. To speak about him, why the court are still holding him. If he's not the representative of Igbo people, are those behind all this Mazen Namdekano detention, illegal in detention now. Now you understand what I'm talking about, my people. Great people, this is what I have for you people. Raf was weekend. This one, you get it. Good day and welcome.